Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 4, practical geometry, exercise 4.1. When the lengths of four sides and a diagonal are given, let us see how to construct a quadrilateral. See example 1, construct a quadrilateral PQRS where PQ equals to 4 cm, QR equals to 6 cm, RS equal to 5 cm, PS equal to 5.5 cm and PR equals to 7 cm. Let us see construction steps. Step 1. Draw a line segment PR of length 7 cm. Step 2. With PR center, draw an arc with radius 4 cm. Step 3. With R as a center, draw an arc with radius 6 cm. Let us draw a line segment PR that equals to 7 cm. Now we shall mark here. P and R that is 7 centimeters and then join them. Now we shall mark them as P, R and write down the length 7 centimeter. Now with P as a center we are going to draw an arc of 4 centimeter. So let us measure 4 centimeters using a compass and a scale. So now we have taken here 4 centimeters. Now with PS center, we are going to draw an arc. Now, with R as a center, we are going to take radius of 6 cm and draw an arc. So, we have taken 6 cm. With R as center, we are going to draw an arc that cuts the previous arc at point Q. Now we have to join PQ and QR. Now write down PQ equals to here 4 cm and QR equals to 6 cm. Let us see step 4. Now both arcs meet at a point Q, join PQ and QR. We have done that. Step 5. Now we have to locate the fourth point S. This S is opposite to Q with reference to PR. See now step 6. With P as a center, draw an arc with radius 5.5 cm and R as a center, draw an arc with radius 5 cm. Now both arcs meet at a point S, join PS and RS. Therefore, PQRS is the required quadrilateral. Now, we are going to draw with P as a center, 5.5 cm radius we have taken and we are going to draw an arc. Next, with R as a center, we have to draw an arc of radius 5 cm. So, we are going to measure 5 cm. With R as a center, we have drawn an arc. That meets at a point S. Then we have to join PS and RS. Now mention PS equal to 5.5 cm and RS equal to 5 cm. Therefore PQRS is the required quadrilateral. See now first question, first sum, construct a quadrilateral ABCD where AB equals to 4.5 cm, BC equals to 5.5 cm, CD equals to 4 cm, AD equals to 6 cm and AC equals to 7 cm. See steps of construction. Step 1. Draw a line segment AC of length 7 cm. Step 2. With A as center, draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm. With C as center, draw an arc of radius 5.5 cm. Step 3. Now both arcs meet at a point B, then join AB and CB. Let us see now how to construct the quadrilateral. Among all the lengths, AC equals 7 cm. It is the greatest length. Now let us draw a diagonal AC of length 7 cm. So let us mark here 7 cm and join them. Then name them as AC. 
that equals to 7 cm. Now, with A as center, we have to draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm. So, now we are going to draw 4.5 cm radius and arc from A. Now, with C as a center, we have to draw an arc that meets the previous arc. So, we are going to take 5.5 cm radius and we are going to draw an arc with C as center that coincides the previous arc. Now, name this point as B. Now, we have to join AB and CB. Let us join AB. Then join CB. Step 4. With A center, we have to draw an arc of radius 6 cm. With C as center, we have to draw an arc of radius 4 cm. Now these both arcs meet at a point D, join AD and CD. Therefore, ABCD is the required quadrilateral. Now we are going to draw AD equals to 6 cm. So from A as center, we have to take 6 cm radius and draw an arc. Now with C as center, we have to draw another arc that coincides the previous arc. Now we have taken length 4 cm. With C as a center, we have drawn an arc that intersects the previous arc. Now mark this point as D. Now join AD and CD. Therefore, ABCD is the required quadrilateral. See now second sum, construct a quadrilateral jump where JU equals to 3.5 cm, UM equals to 4 cm, MP equals to 5 cm, PJ equals to 4.5 cm and PU equals to 6.5 cm. See steps of construction now. See now step 1, triangle JUP can be constructed by using the given measurements. That is we have to draw a line segment PU equals to 6.5 cm and with PS center draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm. Step 2, with US center draw an arc of radius 3.5 cm. Now these both arcs meet at a point J, join PJ and UJ. Now we have to draw line segment PU equals to 6.5 cm. So let us mark them and join them and name it as PU that is 6.5 cm. With P as a center, now we have to draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm. Now with U as center, we have to draw another arc of radius 3.5 cm. Now both arcs intersect each other at point J. Now join PJ and JU. Let us join PJ and JU. See now step 3. Taking P as center, draw an arc of radius 5 cm and U as center, draw an arc of radius 4 cm. Now both arcs meet at a point M. Then join PM and UM. Therefore jump is the required quadrilateral. Now with P as center, we have to draw an arc of radius 5 cm.
Now with U as center we have to draw another arc. Now we have to mark this point as M. Now we have to join PM and UM. Therefore, JUMB is the required quadrilateral. See now third sum. Construct a parallelogram more where OR equals to 6 cm, RE equals to 4.5 cm and EO equals to 7.5 cm. We know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal in length and also these are parallel to each other. Hence, ME equals to OR equals to 6 cm and MO equals to ER equals to 4.5 cm. See now step 1. Triangle EOR can be constructed by using the given measurements. We have to draw the diagonal OR equals to 6 cm. Then with O as center draw an arc of radius 7.5 cm. Step 2 with R as center draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm. Now both arcs meet at a point E. Join OE and ER. Now let us draw line segment that equals to 6 cm. And name it as OR that is 6 cm. Now with O as center we have to draw an arc of radius 7.5 cm. Now with R as center we have to draw another arc. Let us take the radius as 4.5 cm. Now with RS center we are going to draw an arc that intersects the previous arc. Name the point as E. Now join OE and ER. Name them as 4.5 cm. OE is equals to 7.5 cm. See now step 3. Taking O and E as centers, draw arcs of 4.5 cm and 6 cm radius respectively. These will intersect each other at point M. Now join MO and ME. Step 4. Therefore, MORE more is the required parallelogram. Now, with M as center, we have to take radius 4.5 cm and draw an arc. Next, with E as center, we have to draw another arc of radius 6 cm. So let us draw with E as center an arc of radius 6 cm that intersects the previous arc at point M. Now we have to join OM and EM. MO equals to 4.5 cm. Therefore, MORE is the required parallelogram. See now question number 4. Construct a rhombus best where BE equals to 4.5 cm and ET equals to 6 cm. We know that all sides of a rhombus are of the same measure. 
हैंस बी इक्व टू इस इक्व टू एस टी इक्व टू टी बी दट ईक्व टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेटर सी नाउ स्टेप वन ट्रयांगल बी इ टी कैन बी कंसट्रक्टेड बै यूजिंग द गिवेन मेजरमेंट दट ईज इटी ईक्व सिक्स सेटीमीटर्स वी हेव टू ड्रा ए लाइन सेगमेंट दैन टेकिंग इ एंड टी एस सेंटर्स वी हेव टू ड्रा आर्स ऑफ फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर रेस्पेक्टिवली नाउ दीज आर्स इंटरसेकेट पॉइंट बी दैन जॉन बी इ एंड इ टी ड्रा लाइन सेगमेंट इ टी ऑफ लेंथ सिक्स सेंटीमीटर्स Name them as E, T, and mention six centimeters length. With E as center, we have to draw an arc of radius four point five centimeter. So let us take four point five measurement. With E as center, now we are going to draw arc of radius four point five centimeter. Now with T as center. we have to draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm which intersects the previous arc name the point as b now we have to join be and et Name BE as four point five centimeter and BT as four point five centimeter. Step two: Taking E and T as centers, we have to draw arcs of radius four point five and four point five centimeters respectively. These will intersect each other at point S. Now join ES and ST. Step three: Therefore, best is the required rhombus. You know, with ES center. And T S center, we have to draw two arcs of radius 4.5 centimeter. Now we have taken 4.5 centimeters measurement. With T S center, we are going to draw an arc. From T S center, we are going to draw another arc that intersects the previous arc at point S. Now we have to join E S. And S T. Write down E S four point five centimeter, S T as four point five centimeter. Therefore, B E S T is the required rhombus. Hope you like this video. If you like this video please like share to your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching